you might say, Stanley, what would be your bucket list? What would be outside the rapture, outside meeting a woman to marry? What would be your ultimate thrill on this planet called Earth? I tell you what, it's two things. If I had the opportunity to preach to the President of the United States, past, present, or future, if I had the opportunity to go before the House of Representatives and the Senate of the United States of America, if I could have every President, Vice President, Speaker of the House, every Democrat, every uh, Republic, Republican, every party in Washington, D.C., if I could preach to them, I would preach to them a part, two part message. If I could get up in New York. In the United Nations Assembly and all the nations and their representatives and the interpreters and if I could get with the United States or and the United Nations if I could get all the people involved all the leaders all the governors All the cabinet posts. If I could get them together in two places, Washington, D.C., and New York, I would preach a two part message. I would preach to them, first of all, 1 Corinthians 15 3, for I deliver unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. I would preach the death, burial, and resurrection or the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, go to all the world and preach the gospel. You say, Stiley, you, you wouldn't tell him, anybody, that abortion's wrong, abortion's murder? No, I wouldn't. They don't need to know about abortion. They need to know about Jesus. They need to know about salvation. Before the United Nations, I tell you, Allah can't save you. Mary can't save you. The popes can't save you. Your gods can't save you. The cows can't save you. No sacred image. No sacred idol. No God. No ancestor. No one can save you. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. I don't care if you're a Muslim, I don't care if you're a Catholic, I don't care if you're Presbyterian, I don't care if you're Indian, I don't care if you're if you're United States, I don't care if you're Mexican, I don't care if you're Chinese, I don't I don't care if you're Korean, I don't care if you're Russian. Jesus Christ saves, only Jesus saves. And whoever you are, and whatever you are, and wherever you are, if you have not put your faith and trust in Jesus, you will die and go to hell. If you don't believe in hell, you'll wake up in hell and you'll be a believer. I don't believe in Jesus. The Bible said, prepare to meet thy God. Allah will bow down before Jesus Christ at the name of Jesus. Every knee bow and every, everyone shall confess Jesus is the Lord. That goes for Joseph Smith. That goes for Mary Baker Eddy. That goes for the Jehovah Witnesses. That goes for even Christians. We'll stand in the judgment seat of Christ. Now before the deceivers, that would be the wolves in sheep's clothing. That'd be for the kings and queens and the princes. Prime ministers. You that have been born 
you will take your last breath on this earth one day. And what you have done with Jesus will determine your afterlife. The Bible says there is an afterlife. If you reject Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ will reject you. And Jesus said, depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. You go into hell, the wrath of God. You received the gift of God, Jesus Christ, eternal life. You put your faith and trust in Jesus. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved with the heart. Man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession made unto salvation. If you put your faith and trust in Jesus, at that last moment you take your breath, you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. He say, Stalin, you would preach that. I preached it on the streets of Daytona Beach for six years. I preached it at fairs. I preach it at Mark's. I preach it wherever public ministry the Lord has given me. Yes. I wouldn't tell them about abortion. Abortion can't save you. Tell them abortion is murder. Ain't good. Listen, you go out in the streets and abortion is murder. Abortion. That's not what Jesus told you. Mark 16. Jesus said, go to the world and tell them the gospel. Preach the gospel. No, no, the Mormons are wrong. The Mormons are wrong. Yeah, they're wrong, but they need the gospel. Oh, we're going out there. We're trying to get votes. We're trying to change the government. we got to get the good people in the way. They ain't going to save them. Donald Trump can't save America. Jesus will. It ain't the Democrats. It ain't the Republicans. It's Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. King Charles III will die and go to hell unless he puts his faith and trust in Jesus. That goes for Harry and that goes for uh, the other one there. I can't think of his name. That goes for the president and his wife Jill. That goes for Nancy Pelosi. That goes for the, the past presidents, the Clintons, the Obamas. That goes for the governors. That goes for the mayors. That goes for any human being. Except you repent, you'll likewise perish. That's part one. Your religion can't save you. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Now, if it's still... If they haven't crucified me and it killed me, I have a part two of my message. And this goes good for the United States just as much as the United Nations. Genesis 12, 3. We got three verses here, four verses. Genesis 12, 3. I will bless them that bless thee. He's saying this to Abram, verse 1. I will curse him that curses thee. All in thee, all the families of earth shall be blessed. Genesis 27. Genesis 27, 29. This is Isaac to Jacob that will be renamed Israel. Let the people serve thee. Let nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Cursed be everyone that curses thee. Blessed be he that blesses thee. Now we go to Numbers. This is a Gentile talking to a Gentile. And what the king wants is he wants Israel to be cursed. He wants them to be cursed so God will destroy them. Instead of a curse... Balaam, from God, the inspiration of God. Balaam does not curse Israel. He blesses them three times. In Gen uh, Numbers 24, 9. In the couch, he lay down as a lion, as a great lion. Who shall stir him up? Blessed he that blesses thee. Cursed is he that curses thee. See the running thing? Three times. Zechariah. Zechariah. 2 8, I hope. 
bad handwriting. For thus saith the Lord God of hosts. I don't care if it's Allah, I don't care if it's the Pope, I don't care who your God is. The God of Abraham, Isaac, of Jacob, the God of the Bible, Jehovah, the Lord Jesus Christ. You got another God? You ain't got no God? You need to turn to the Bible. You need to turn to Jehovah. You need to turn to Jesus. You need to get saved first. You need to do the gospel. You need to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You need to acknowledge God of the Bible, the, <coughs> the King James Bible. If you're not, you're going to go to hell. You're an abomination of God if you don't. I don't care how you feel. God don't care what you feel. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, that hosts is everything. After the glory has he sent me unto the nations, which spoil you, Israel, Zion, verse 7. For he that touches you, Zion, verse 7, touches the apple of his eye. That's Israel. You see, what's your message number two? Leave Israel alone. Give her all her land. Give her all the help. Give her all the protection. If somebody comes across Israel, wipe out their nation overnight. Don't have them give up their land. God said, we read in three places, God said, if, if they will curse you, I will curse them. That's America, that's Russia, that's Chinese, that's the Arabian, that's the UK, anybody. If you curse Israel, the Jew, the Hebrew, God's going to curse you. Ask God off Hitler. If you bless Israel, you help them, guide them, strengthen them, pray for them, God will give you a blessing. Take your military forces and help Israel. Defend her. Strengthen her. Encourage her. Send in Bible, King James Bible believing missionaries into, into her. Get them in there to preach the Messiah. I know they ain't going to listen still. Jesus said, go in all the world and preach the gospel. Israel's in the world. Get in there, preach them the gospel. Preach in there. The death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. Get the Catholics out. Get the uh, Islam out. Get uh, Ishmael out of there. Get the Arabians out. They don't belong there. That land is God's land, the Bible said. And God says, I've only given it to one group of people, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God didn't give it to Abraham, Ishmael. No. He gave it to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. If somebody comes in there and we want some of that land, tough cookies, you ain't going to get it. United Nations comes in, well, we're going to give up, we're going to, you know, we got to attack Israel, we got to give up on Israel. Well, United Nations, you've got 30 minutes to get out of New York. And you're going to pay your bills, you're going to pay your parking tickets. You need to defend her. You need to pray for her. You need to help her. You need to guide her. You need to get Bible-believing missionaries in there. You need to strengthen her. And any nation that goes against Israel, they're cursed by God. And you, you, no, I don't have anything. The Arabians, they don't like Israel. They don't want to, we don't want your gasoline no more. What's going to, I don't care what it's going to hurt. Tell you right now, Ishmael, you send one missile into Israel, and tomorrow morning your desert will be glass. Well, I, if I was president of the United States, I'd tell you what I do. If you attacked Israel, I would call up all my nuclear bomb submarine, my nuclear ballistic submarine that carry twenty-four missile tubes. I would say, open up all those tubes, all those tubes. 
This is the nation that cursed Israel. Say adios. You would do that to protect Israel? Yes, I would. I go into Israel like Jeremiah say, listen, that gay pride you had, man, that's abomination. Everything Israel would do since they're living under the law, though we're under grace. I, I say, Israel, this is what your law says. I have thrown the law right in their face. Moses said, Jehovah said, you're violating the law. Hey, Israel, we're coming up on the Day of Atonement. Where are you going to bring your sacrifice? There ain't nothing there. i tell you right now what I would do. i go over there. i, I destroy the dumb of the rock. That don't belong there. I didn't go up. He went down to hell. Michael has no feathers. Michael has nothing to do with a, with a false religion. In the cult. So if I had two opportunities for the United States and, and all the world to the United Nations, I preach, you must repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And number two, you leave Israel alone. Bless her. Don't curse her. Because what you do to Israel, God will do to you.